Hi, in this episode I want to replace a picture placeholder with a picture coming from Salesforce. Uh, I'm going to use a PDF file and in the PDF file I have some uh, merge fields as you can see over here that I want to fill with uh, the company name, the industry and the website uh, and then also we have a placeholder for the logo. The data will come from my, um, from my account and on my account as you can see here, I have a picture called Logo PDF Butler. To get the data, I have a, uh, the picture, I have a picture data source, as you can see over here. If you want to learn more about the picture data source, you can just find that on our academy and you search for picture data source. But the picture data source will be linked to an account uh, data source and then uh, the field to link it with will be the ID field. So I want to link this picture via the ID field to my parents and then I only want to select a picture starting with logo. So the percent sign is a uh, uh, wildcard that everything that uh, uh, resembles that starts with logo will be selected. So in this case I have indeed a picture starting with logo and that's the one I want to use. Let's take a look at the configuration. I have my account data source and I have the uh, picture data source as a child so I'm going to say new child and then use that picture data source or select that picture data source directly from here. With my uh, picture data source added I can now add a config type to replace the picture placeholder with the picture coming from Salesforce. I'm going to call my config type logo. Then I'm going to say it's a picture data source. It will immediately select the right uh, picture data source. So this is the one that I need. Then uh, I have to click this button, choose picture placeholder. So it's going to then get all of the images inside the PDF. And you have to select which image that you want to use as the picture placeholder. In this case, I only have one image, a big gray uh, placeholder, and I'm going to select this one. So click the select button. Then you see this one is filled. And then I can just click OK and I have my logo over here. Save to server, uh, no errors, so I know everything is, will be working just fine. And now if I would generate my document over here, then it would normally have replaced the image with my logo, the picture placeholder with my logo. So I have my company name now filled, the technology industry filled, the website filled, and as you can see also the picture logo has been replaced. This was the original one where I started from and now all the data is nicely filled into my PDF.